Hey, Kurt, how you doing? Uh, I have your paper and your work up here, and I want to talk about that. But before I do that, I just want to mention, um, I, I haven't heard from you um, regarding the, that assignment that, that you had agreed with Jocelyn. So I, I had I, I, you know, I can only keep grades open so long in grade books, so I have to close that thing. Now, I sent you an email. I don't know if you got it because it's just not like you. You know, I didn't get a, a return. Um, I didn't get a response. Um, I was a little bit stuck. I, you know, that was an old assignment left over from your previous instructor, Jocelyn. So um, I, I'm so, I excuse me. I don't know what was back there and what was. So I'm really at a disadvantage here. That's why I emailed you. That's why I copied Sloan um, on it too to see if maybe she had some information or um, um, if Jocelyn even could could chime in with us. Um, but I hadn't heard anything back. So I, I'm kind of stuck in the water here like you are. So um, just, I was just wondering if you got that email because it just doesn't seem like you not to respond. So anyway, um, Kurt, your, your poster looks awesome. It really does. I think you've done a wonderful job. There's probably one or two layers too many of information. And, and I'll tell you what I mean by that in a second. But compositionally, I think you're really solid. Nice four column grid. Um, I think that in terms of hierarchy, I think Bodoni is definitely taking center stage, as it should. I wouldn't mess with stuff like this with with, you know, uh, a styling type around the actual typeface itself. This is really a, a super classic. So I don't know. My opinion is that there's only so much that you can do with a super, one of the super classics. You know what I'm saying? Um, that might be a personal preference, but at least think about that for a second and see if you can see my point of view on that one. Same thing with putting type inside the letter forms. Um, I mean, these are some of the most beautiful letter forms ever ever marked they're gorgeous and i just to me i'm a purist i just don't see interfering with the marks let me know what you think about that all right i'm interested in your thoughts on that um yeah okay so anyways as far as uh hierarchy goes okay but don't yes should be first did don't you're a modern yes but those are really really large both of those words um, I would really reduce those because both of those are a direct competition with the word Bodoni, which you don't want. Same thing with the word British over the eye. Believe it or not, the way that's oriented, it's really drawing a lot of weight. Um, seems to be a kind of a visual phenomenon that something that small is drawing that kind of weight right up there. But so be it. Um, perhaps it's because this side of the, the um, composition is a little bit heavy. Um, I'm just not sure about this whole bold, 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 bold right off the page like that. It just seems to be going like that to the page, um, creating some weight right here, which also emphasizes that weight up there. It's 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 kind of a way of uh, you know think of a fulcrum on your page, and you'll see what I mean. Um, this type here, I think, is is handled beautifully. I I think that. Um, this is called um, skyscraping, uh, as, as opposed to closed lining. Closed lining is when your all your type lines start at the same top and they work their way down and have different uh, baselines. And um, skyscraping is when they all have equal um, alignment on a baseline grid, and then they they kind of stagger in their height. So good job there. Paper's great. Um, I, one thing I would have liked to have seen in a paper is just a little bit of this. Um, a, a statement fact, uh, I'm sorry, um, fact research, fact proof, fact proof. Do you see what I'm saying? So in other words, you know, uh, um, adding a little bit of research and some cite and citation um, pointing to the, uh, to the paper itself. Otherwise, I think you're solid. Um, some of those are personal recommendations. So, so, you know, they might not be right off the ru rubric. I'm just trying to give you as much as as as, as much as much bang for the buck, so to speak. So, uh, so um, I wanted to say one more thing. What was it? I don't remember. I'm saying that a bit about history because I don't remember um, what your my, my was it mod my 
milestone one or module one where you submitted the first paper. So that was before my time, as you know. So again, a little bit of a disadvantage there, but I think you're doing awesome. Um, all right, I'll see you in class, man. Thanks.